This morning I decided to come and check in on mom. Hello. Good morning. Hi mom. I wanted to make sure she is all set with her medications. I help prepare her med boxes for her, um, making sure that it's very clear every day what it is that she needs to be taking. It's very difficult to kind of address this. No one teaches you about dementia. One of the things I, I love most about Jenny is just her outgoing personality. Even today with her uh, illness, people are attracted to her. Uh, you know, that's, that's just the essence of Ginny. Served in the Navy for 23 years. The Navy moved us around quite a bit and a lot of it was overseas. Uh, we were first married um, right after Christmas in 69 and the following week we were off to Spain. Well, Ginny was always up for anything. She had almost no fear. Life was simple, life was fun, life was safe. I went anywhere and everywhere with him. I was adventurous and, and wherever he got stationed, I was right behind him. To the question, when did it happen? I don't know if anyone has a direct answer for that, right? But what I did notice was mom's anxiety started to go up and up about being, you know, left alone or her days being very repetitive and just some kind of everyday activities were less and less comfortable. I brought it up to Meg and then I brought it up to Pop and then we really kind of got on the case about doctor visits and mental care. Where do we go from here? Where can we find a place that knows exactly what she's going through and educate us and take care of her at the same time. And that's exactly what happened as soon as we found Town Square. Town Square, to me, is brought me back of years that may, it reminds me of how good life was. The reminiscent therapy that we provide really helps an individual feel at ease in our environment. They're going back to a time they remember. A lot of individuals who live with a cognitive impairment, they might not remember yesterday or a month ago or even a year ago, but they are going to remember in the earlier stages 30, 40 years ago. Jenny's always been very tolerant of me. After I got out of the Navy, you know, I still wanted to go to sea, and so I started doing these Star Clippers cruises coupled with my photography. But I noticed uh, she started to get display some anxiety about me leaving. That's when we decided to seek some care at Town Square. The first couple of times I kept thinking, I don't belong here. And Tom said, I think you need to try. And I said, I'll do it for you. And he said, no, do it for you. I said, okay, I'll do it for me. <laughs> I need to be here. They can't fix me, but they can help me. Well, after my Navy retirement, I worked for a couple companies first and then decided, along with a friend of mine, to, to start a company. And it's grown to a very respected, successful company. But it takes a lot of personal attention. So I'm able to, to stay involved and kind of blend my work responsibilities with my responsibilities to Jitty. When you finally kind of meld with someone, you say, when are you here? And you want to see a face that you can count on to have fun with. We were very pleased to see that it was a medical model that they had on site a full-time nurse practitioner who was also a gerontology specialist. You couldn't ask for a better model. The educational aspect of it is amazing for us. We get to understand deeper and better uh, about this disease. I love everything about what they have here. We can find a place to go and play games on our own by ourselves, play a, a dice game. No, no barriers, no, you can't do that, or you know, no matter how ugly you color or how ugly you dress, they don't judge. And it was really neat. The more she expressed joy in this environment, the less anxious the family was. That really helps us as her caretakers know that she is somewhere safe. She's being engaged in her mind activities during the day. And that allows dad to be able to still run the business, him to still be able to do the things that he enjoys most in life and know also that mom is being taken care of. There's nothing like this place, nothing. 
I can't I can't say it in words because you have to live it. It's somewhere that understands we all are just cookie cutter people. We're unique. We're all different ages. We all have a different stage of dementia and everybody is treated with kindness and love. Say no more. <laughs>